attacks on local Muslims. One woman says she was called a terrorist and almost run over with a car. And local Muslims say she's not the only person targeted because of her religion. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa spoke with the victim about her frightening experience and her message. Tammy. Mike, the victim says she won't go anywhere alone after this incident. She says a man tried to run her down in Clifton and then he took off. Very upsetting, very scary. Um, I'm very, very nervous for me, my friends, my family. A typical Monday night studying ended with Hanin Jassim's life in danger. I'm terrified to cross the street now. The UC pre med student left the Starbucks on University Square. As she crossed the street, she says a man started honking, cursing, and calling her a terrorist. Hanin was wearing her hijab. The way he was saying terrorist and cussing at me like I was this animal, like I was nothing. But worse, Hanin says the man drove towards her. Within an instant, he tried to run over me. And um, if it wasn't for the three people in front of me grabbing me onto the sidewalk, I would have probably been dead right there. She says the driver drove off. But I never thought it would ever happen to me. Shaken and terrified, Hanin says she didn't catch a license plate and wasn't sure what police could do. So she reported the incident to the Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE. The organization says three Muslims here have been harassed or attacked in the past week alone. It's very disappointing as well that people in our community would stoop so low. Kier says since the Paris terror attacks, violence against Muslims has spiked in the country. If you get to know any Muslim woman, very nice people, we're very giving, we're very helpful. So it just kills me to, to see that there's there's people that think we're bad, we're terrorists, that, and this is not us. ISIS is not us. Now, Kier says this past week alone, one woman was assaulted in a Kroger parking lot in Hyde Park, and another woman was insulted and spat on. Reporting live, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. All right, Tammy. Hanin says she's thankful to the three people who pulled her out of the street and saved her life.